Um, we're going to start our Christmas decorations today, and I'm going to show you where I store my decorations because we have so much. Um, almost 10 years ago, we put an addition on our house. <coughs> the upstairs is the sunroom, and then beyond that's the family room. Uh, this was the original part of the house over here, and then that's my garage, and this corner of it is the workshop. And then we went ahead and had, had them add on this little lean-to on the back, and it's 6 foot by 20 feet long, goes all the way across this two-car wide garage. So I'm going to show you what's in here. This is where we store our Halloween decorations, our holiday decorations. And we have way too much. This is all seasonal storage and everything. It's not dead storage. Everything gets used. Um, up here, we have Easter decorations. Um, I think this is... This is um, Valentine's and 4th of July. No, that's... I don't know. I think Valentine's and 4th of July is in here. Um, both of these are Halloween. This one is Thanksgiving and it's actually unpacked right now. We, our Thanksgiving decorations are out because today is Sunday and this Thursday is um, Thanksgiving. So we're getting a little bit of an early start on our decorations. We have our fans here, um, some yard de decor here. Brought that in for the winter. And then my husband loves blow molds. This is crazy. <laughs> and we, we, we bought most of them used. We get them at garage sales and thrift shops, wherever we can find them. We've been collecting them for 20 years. Um, over here is this is my daughter's Christmas decorations. I think there's a, a small tree in there, some cords for plugging in the yard stuff. Um, this is some my Mickey Mouse ornaments for my Mickey tree. This is the tree for the, up, for the upstairs family room, the Mickey tree. Um, this will be in the living room. We're going to do that today, the tree for the living room. Um, this is stuff we bought this year uh, at thrift shops. So we're adding that this year. Um, we've got just everything <laughs> ornaments and decorations for the whole house and so this is our Christmas decorations we have too much so that's why I'm getting an early start so I just wanted to show you all that so we're going to take in the tree for the living room and the ornaments for the living room and get started on that turn it off okay um, I've unpacked some of the ornaments I have 69 ornaments here and these are our special ornaments my tree is Victorian. I have a family room tree that's Mickey Mouse. These don't go on that tree because they don't go with my Victorian. So, turn around. I hang a valance across there and that's where I hang my special ornaments. Oh, I got to fix that. That <laughs> fell down. I'll get that done. Okay, now I'll show you my ornaments. This is my daughter. She was born in 2000. We bought her this baby's first Christmas. We made this little stocking. This was from her cousin. This was from her aunt. This was from my co-workers at my old job. And I, I write the dates on things. I write things on them. And then this was her ornament we bought for 2001. And she, um, she brought this, somebody gave this to her. Wrote her name on it. Um, this was from her, her dad's godmother. Um, this was went from her dad's cousin. Um, this is 2001. I, where is this? And this is the one we gave her. And then we've, we had this, we found this little book and put her little picture in it. So we've got that. Uh, that's, I didn't put a date on it, 2001 or 2002. So there's 2002, 2003, 2004. Um, Grandma and Grandpa gave her this. We'll put the date on the back of that. Here's 2005. Then Care Bears, 2006, 2007. And Hannah Montana, boy, he, she was hot stuff in 2008 and 2009. All the little girls loved her. Uh, she's not a good influence anymore. There's 2010, 2011, 
2012, 2013. We bought this in 2009 at Disney World for her ornament for that year. And I put it away from here, somewhere and it took me three years to find it. She, and she made this in 2014 with her cousins. For, and then this is, she's turned into a little bling queen now. That's 2014, 2015, 2016. And here's this year's ornament to, for 2017. So that is all for my daughter. Oh, plus, every time we find an ornament with her name on it, we buy it. Her name is Alexandra. So these are all hers. She's not spoiled. And then I made ornaments um, for some of my pets, past and present. These are our two cats. I found these at, the, at a thrift shop. And so my cat, Butterscotch, and my brother who lives with us, his cat is Midnight. And then this is Sam. He's, he's, he's gone. Duke is gone. Uh, this is Charlotte, in memory of Charlotte, 1993 to 2006. Um, in memory of Dolly. In memory of of uh, Char well we, Charlotte was pretty special I guess we got two for Charlotte and then I got a dad ornament Sandy my name here's dad mom a uh, dear friend of mine who I used to work with uh, like 30 years ago she gave this to me and so and she passed away so it's pretty special to me um, when I was on my own I was 18 had my first apartment uh, my younger brother was um, 10, no he was 8 and he gave me these three ornaments that he brought home from school and he made this one when he was 8 1977 these are 40 years old and these are treasures uh, my mother-in-law gave me this it's supposed to play music I hope it still works I'm getting pretty weak <laughs> and my husband liked these so he got those and my husband made this when he was a kid so he won't let me part with that. And my husband's niece made these for us in 2012. And we've been getting our photos done. And they started giving us these ornaments for 2014, 15, and 16. And then sometimes we were out places and we find ornaments. So we got these three with our names on them. And we got these three with our names on them. And a friend of mine gave me the, these two that say... June, which is the month I was born, and this one's pretty special. Our first Christmas together, my husband and I, uh, we were married in, two, in 1999. Our daughter was born in 2000. So that's my special ornaments, and we're going to get them hung up. Turn off the camera. Special ornaments, 69 special ornaments, and we're just getting stuff.
Okay, so we got our tree assembled, the lights are on, and the beads are on, and I've been unpacking our decorations. I've got these, are, these are musical angels, i got to get some batteries put in there. Here's my angel tree topper, my tree skirt. i got three angels that are going to stand in front of the tree. This one's animated. This is a giant tree topper, and I found that at a garage sale and I think she wanted 50 cents for it. I gave her a couple of dollars for it. She just gave it to me. Okay, so I've got 31 of these ornaments with the bows on them. Those will go on first. And then I've got 137 ball type ornaments including these. 137 of those will go on next. Then I got 52 angels over there. I've got 16 hearts, I've got 29 stars over there in the corner, I've got 9 musical instruments, I've got 6 birds that I bought in like 30 years ago in 1987. They're kind of beat up but I keep putting them on the tree. I've got 69 snowflakes, 69, and I've got 118 assorted icicles and I made some of these myself look how pretty that is I made some of those and then I've got 59 assorted ornaments with for a grand total of 526 ornaments that we're going to put on this tree and I got almost all of this stuff at thrift shops over the last 20 years plus so I've been collecting for a long time and every year I buy a few more I just can't resist. So we're going to start decorating.
All right. Finally got our tree decorated. I said 526 ornaments, including the icicles and everything. But I had these 22 icicles. We're going to put those on my daughter's tree in her room. We just had enough. And then I got these two pretty little frames I just got this year. I got to put something in them. So at the moment, there was exactly 500 ornaments on the tree. Wow. It took us a few hours. It was a lot of work, and it's just dripping. Just dripping with ornaments. And I love it. It's, uh, I don't, I'm not sure it's worth all the work, but we did it. Yep, we did it. So that's my living room tree done. Got two more to go, including the Mickey Mouse tree in the family room and my daughter's tree in her room. So here we go. There's my Christmas tree all done. And I still got Thanksgiving out, but that's going to get packed up on Friday. And we're going to get really hit the Christmas decorations then. So thanks for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and subscribe to my channel.